am back at work, you know, doing the work thing. I have no ovulation test to take. I have no pregnancy test to take. I am on cycle day 19. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm at work, so there's not really much I can do about when I get, you know, when I get interruptions, I just have to stop. Wow, it's raining and it's so beautiful outside. It looks like a fall day, you know what I mean? Like a fall day, but you know, it's spring. Look at that. Just so pretty. I love the seasons and just I love the sound and the rain and just all that stuff. Oh, but anyway, I wanted to go back and do, I wanted to kind of apologize because all right, still have had no word back from my doctor on my ultrasound or mammogram. So, hey, that's a good thing. I will take that. Uh, but as far as... I, so, on my last video, I did congratulate some people on being pregnant. Although, I got one of the names wrong. And I was, like, so confused and puzzled. And I was like, wait, I thought... Okay, so, Jess, um, Yeah. So, Elizabeth Jones... 777 is pregnant and she you know so i was like congratulating her and then i also said congratulations to christy and i don't know why i got christy mixed up with jessica h and but all of a sudden it clicked when the christy christy i'm so sorry for that and i started thinking i was like oh my gosh i i froze up because i was like i don't know I, I i don't know i thought i don't know why i got the names mixed up of who was pregnant so, Jessica H is pregnant. So, congratulations to Jessica H. And then, obviously, Elizabeth, you know. And then, Christy, I feel so bad, Christy Lyle, uh, because I know you've been trying for a long time. And you're just like me, that we're older and, you know, we're trying. Um, but I am praying for you. Yeah, man, I don't know. Just my brain has been, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, so, and then moving on. Yes, yeah, so I don't have any... I don't have any symptoms of the ovulation, so that's gone. I think, I think this is going to be a good month. You know, I'm obviously I, I hope, you know, but just look out there. Look how pretty. I don't know. Can you see, really or not? Yeah. I'm happy for everybody and it gives me hope like i said last time it gives me hope i'm feeling like you know i'm i'm feeling good okay i also want to talk about this anybody ever been to the wolf lodge anyone has ever been to the wolf lodge let me know now see i'm pretty skeptical skeptical about water parks just for the simple facts i know come on i know how dirty it could be i'm pretty sure but hey you know you only live one time it's the same as going to public pools am i right i mean how dirty is the wolf lodge and i'm talking about the one in sandusky ohio sandusky ohio so has anyone ever been to that one i have reservations so and it's in a couple months and i have i have it planned so if anyone wants to go to the wolf lodge you should go online right now and check check it out they got some deals going on here it's like they give you a code and you just click it but i don't know i'm not this isn't sponsored i have no idea but I got a pretty good deal on a family suite with a balcony and an extra living room. And it was like $104.99 or something like that. Coming to a total of $142. And I'm just like, my hotel here is more expensive than the Wolf Lodge at this point. At least with that deal. I don't know if anyone's ever been there. Has anyone ever been to the Wolf Lodge that's in Sandusky, Ohio? Is it eh? Is it eh? Uh, let me know. Either way, I'm going, so <laughs> I got to go. I'm stuck. I already made the reservation. I'm not paying $30 to cancel, so I'm going. And I think, and I heard out of all the water parks, because we went to Sandusky, um, the Castaway Bay, like, I don't know, three, four months ago. And um, that was great for nearest. However, I think that this hotel is more aimed for toddlers and little babies, like, closer to her age. That's what I heard. That's what I read in the comments. And all the pictures I see online looks great i haven't seen like too many negative comments other than sometimes it's dirty but hey and it's gross like little kids pee in the water 
But I heard that if a baby doesn't have a diaper on and they, you know, they go in the water, that they will literally clear out the the water part and you'll have to go back to your room and you don't get to come back until it's completely which thank you that's kind of safe thanks i'll take that like you, how are they supposed to make sure every baby has a turd isn't going to get out of their diaper their swimmer diaper <laughs> i don't know hey, is that just me i don't know i'm more go with the flow kind of mom like hey i grew up i'm not i was born 1985 i've been through a lot worse i'm pretty sure I, i've been to a lot worse places as a kid like you know, all the water parks I've been through. I used to drink out of the hose. Come on, we all know. 38 years old. Um, so anyways, I think it's going to be a great time. I really do. I think the baby's going to love it. Okay, I'm going to let you all go. I did not take a test today, like I said. So no test here. Just wanted to apologize um, about that mess up that I said earlier. Or, yes, whatever day, two days ago. Okay, bye. See y'all later. Okay, now... This part is going to be a voiceover for the simple fact that it is too loud in here. Um, I have this Minute Maid Juice some water thing going crazy and all loud. I got the TV on because I can't work without it. I need to watch my Chopped Marathon. So I'm going to set the phone up. I'm going to refill, restock this area as best I can. Take these all out and get them all organized. You know, so do that. And then we're going to go over. And I'm going to do the same for this area, which, you know, got a little bit of work to do. And, and later on tonight, I'll make the coffee. I can't do that until the next lady's about to be here. So I'll do that maybe around eight. And heck, I might not even record that part because I might be already. So like I said, I'm just going to continue with the voiceover because it is just too loud in that room. So I am going to restock the coffees are the coffee creamers. I'm going to restock uh, the cups, the lids. I will remake coffee later, but that won't be until it's time for the lady, the night auditor, to come in. The night auditor comes in at 11, which she's the one who relieves me from my shift, the 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. shift. And other than that, I'm just going to clean, maybe put some apples in there, and um, the daytime person pretty much does all that other stuff. So... Yeah, if you want to, you can stick around. I'm going to maybe do like a little clean with me or, you know, stock with me. Maybe you got something at your house that you want to stock up and do. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. All right. So while I'm cleaning, I just want to ask a couple questions uh, to some of the people who I who have been following me. Okay. So has anyone like went back in time and actually watched some of my videos or has been here the whole time? I, I want to say thank you to those ones who are. But did anyone see the reaction video uh that i made uh I, when i took that pregnancy test and mikey he did not see the second line he didn't get it i don't know if he's just like a typical guy and he's like I, I only see one line and i was like no i was like there's two lines there and he had to squint and he didn't even realize it but on that test what he was seeing was the actual pregnancy hormone test. He wasn't even seeing the control line. The pregnancy hormone test was darker than the control line. So he was just like, like he couldn't see it. And I don't know, that was just like a funny moment in time that we look back at sometimes. I mean, you got to understand, we tried for five and a half years for this little baby near us. And now we're trying again for another one. Um, but anyways, and also, did anyone see the videos of us like... um? When I was in the hospital, like the story leading up to me getting pregnant with Nearest was a long one. And I stopped recording for so long because I had given up hope. And we have actually, we have actually stopped trying. Like I, we weren't even trying in that year. We were planning for a trip. I've said that a million times. We were fl planning for a vacation to Florida. And that is literally how we got pregnant. I stopped trying. I literally, yeah, I just stopped. I mean, I don't know if that had everything to do with it. Because I was getting my body ready for years before that you know. So, I mean, it, I guess, and, and plus I had that surgery a year before to get rid of polyps, endometriosis, and just anything, scar adhesions, anything that the doctor saw when he was giving me that laparoscopic surgery, he got rid of, and uh, uh, polypectomy, all of that, you know. So, yeah, it's just interesting, like, looking, looking back and looking at my older videos and just seeing everything that I have gone through to get here, and I just know that every one of us, um, you know, we're going to get our baby, you know, and for the ones who can't or the ones that aren't getting, 
their babies, I, I pray for you. You are my thoughts. You know, you're just don't give up hope. And I'll see you in the next Does one. Does the doggy know how to sing his ABC song? Anyways, what I forgot to say is if you watch that older video when I when I took pregnancy test after coming back from vacation, it was a positive. Mikey was at work that day and I start calling him. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. I, I texted him. And I'm like, I'm pregnant. And he's like, no, you're not. He was like, no, you're not. He was like, that's impossible, blah, blah. We didn't even try. Well, I was like, yeah, we are. And, you know, he was so shocked that he left work to come home. And, you know, then we were just so nervous because, I, I don't know, we just, we just given up hope almost. So what happened was I talked to my doctor and he said, well, I'll send you over for a blood test. So we went over down to our local hospital. I got a blood test. Um, I signed a paper that said that was like a release form because they were going to be closed on the weekend that I could come back later that day and get the results. So we went back over later that day, picked up the results. We did not know how to read it. We thought the envelope, I thought that it was going to say pregnant or not pregnant. And it literally didn't. It was like some, it was a number and it was a number. Um, it was the HCG number. So now that I know a little bit more about it, I am laughing at myself, but no, we didn't know. I thought I wasn't pregnant. I was like, what? I looked at Mikey, you know, we were so upset, like tearing up because our hopes were so far up. We thought that we were pregnant, actually pregnant. And I was like, this doesn't make sense. Like, keep getting, I'll be right there. We keep getting pregnancy tests that are positive. Like, it doesn't make Long sense. Long story short, and, pregnancy tests I don't know. later on, right ended back. up going to the hospital. It was a big long story. Uh, you'll have to watch the video. I don't want to get into it right now. It, it'll take too long. But yeah, we were pregnant. And here we are. She's almost two years old. Thanks, guys.